Welcome to D-Beaver's YouTube channel. Here you can learn more about our products and features weekly. Importing data efficiently can save you a lot of time and effort, especially when you're dealing with large data sets or transitioning from a local source. Whether you're migrating from a legacy system, updating your data, or consolidating information from various sources, having a reliable import tool is essential. In CloudBeaver, the recently introduced data import functionality helps with such tasks. Today we'll walk you through the process of loading data in a database with CloudBeaver. Let's dive right into it. In our browser-based tool, importing external files is available through the data editor. To start the upload process, click the Import button on the bottom toolbar, which will open up a pop-up window. This feature may be relevant if you have data updates to perform. Suppose you're a data analyst who wants to load an Excel spreadsheet with a daily report into the database. By importing CSV or other supported file types, you can save a lot of time compared to manually entering it. First, choose the file type you want to import. Depending on your CloudBeaver edition, the available options may vary. In the Community Edition, only CSV files are supported. However, in the Enterprise Edition, you can import CSV, XLSX, and XML files. Next, select the file from your local storage and click the Import button. Once it's been successfully imported, a confirmation message will appear to let you know that the process is complete. Now, let's look at some key features and limitations of the import process in CloudBeaver. Users should note that CSV files should be separated by commas. It's necessary that the table's columns in the importing file are the same as in the database table. This ensures that your data is imported correctly without any schema conflicts. When loading, you should avoid duplication, so CloudBeaver only accepts unique primary key values. This is necessary to maintain data quality and consistency. However, it doesn't mean all values in all columns have to be unique. Only the primary key values need to be unique. In addition, you can continue to work on other tasks while the import is processed in the background. This can be useful in a busy work environment as it allows you to multitask and manage your time more efficiently without having to wait for the import process to be completed. That's it. You've successfully imported data into CloudBeaver. This process is straightforward and ensures that your data management tasks are handled efficiently. Thank you for watching this tutorial on data import in CloudBeaver. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with your colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel on how to make the most out of CloudBeaver. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.